Hi, how you doing? Justin here. In this lick today, we're going to be looking at string skipping, and we're going to be applying our string skipping concept to a funny scale that's a kind of a mixture of the Dorian and the blues scales. It's a kind of an interesting little lick. Let's get to a close-up and check out how to play it. The notes we're using for today's lick are based really on the Dorian mode, but with an additional note, the flat five, which is the note from the blues scale. Uh, we're going to be using this kind of section of it from the fifth string. On the fifth string, we're using third fret, fifth fret, and seventh. On the fourth string, we're using four, five, seven. On the third string, we're using four, five, seven. On the second string, we're using four, five, seven again. And on the thinner string, we're using three, five, seven. So as you see, it's all Dorian, all G major, A Dorian, which is the same as G major scale, except for this one note here, which is the E flat. Um, it's really designed to fit over an A blues, so we're still thinking kind of A really, uh, with the addition of this, using that blue note there. To play the lick itself, we start here with the first finger in the third fret, we're going to hammer on the fifth fret, hammer on the seventh fret. So we're only picking that first note. Then we skip a string, the fourth string, and end up on the third string, and we're going to pick, hammer, hammer, flick, flick on the third string. So we're going to have the fourth fret, hammer the fifth fret, hammer the seventh fret, flick off to the fifth fret, flick off to the fourth fret. So we have up the fifth, up and back on the third. Then we're going to start with the little finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string, and we're going to flick down to the fifth, down to the fourth, hammer on the fifth, hammer on the seventh. And then we're going to string skip again all the way over to the second string, and we do the same motion, so up and back. Then we go to the string that we skipped over, which was the third string. We do the same pattern again, so starting with the seventh fret, pick, flick, flick, hammer, hammer, then we jump over to the thinner string and we go three, five, seven, five, three, slide, just to get ourselves back into position. And then we're going to end up with a little bend at the end. Let me do the whole thing nice and slow. Most times, these kind of licks are played as fast as possible. There's not really a kind of a set rhythmic structure, so they're not even 16th notes or even 32nd notes or triplets or groups of six or whatever. A lot of times, it's just kind of random groupings. And if you look at transcriptions of stuff solos by, say, Steve I or Joe Satriani or whatever, those kind of guys, often you'll see kind of unusual rhythmic groupings, so groups of 13 or 11 or 17 or whatever played it over a beat or a couple of beats. And most often it is just this kind of, uh, you know, as fast as possible thing. Sometimes, like Frank Zappa and some of the Steve Vai things and John Petrucci, those kind of guys, they can do kind of even unusual rhythmic groupings. So 13 notes in each beat, and they'll do it the same every time, and that's real clever. I've never been able to get on with that, doing that kind of thing, I'll be honest with you, I find that stuff too hard. And I actually find doing these kind of licks difficult, because they don't have a set kind of rhythmic structure, they feel kind of odd to me, and I have a lot of trouble using them, so I'm not going to demo this lick. But I get loads of requests for this type, kind of stuff, that's why I've done it for you. So I really hope that you enjoy playing this kind of thing, and that you get a lot of mileage, mileage out of it in your solos. So. Um, I'll see you for another lick sometime very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.